everyone welcome back to my channel uh, i'm going to show you guys how to crochet this uh, top today it's a crop top with a spider web in the in the middle of the top um this is how it looks like so i did this offline i just didn't get a chance to actually do a tutorial on video okay so this is the front of the top and the back looks like this with a long strap okay and this is in a size small because i made it for my size Okay, and with anything else, when you're making it for your size, you just increase what is being done. So in this case, we're just increasing until it fits you. Okay, but I'm going to be making the one I'm doing now in the same size as this, which is a small. Okay, so I'm going to be using this yarn here. It's a, a smoke color and it's uh, from Impeccable as well. It is 100% acrylic. Okay, and then I'm going to need my scissors as usual to cut my yarn at the end. And then of course, a crochet hook. This is a five millimeter hook that I'm gonna be using. Okay, right, let's get it started. Okay, so to get started, I already have my yarn wrapped around my finger like that. For those who are new, this is just my way of trying to hold my yarn together. Um, and then we're going to start off with a slip knot. So the way I do my slip knot is I wrap the yarn like that the tip of the yarn around my thumb I hold it with my middle finger like that I pull it off I put my hook through pull it and pull it like that so okay so that's a slip knot oopsie okay and we're going to chain 33 from here one two three four five So that should be your chain 31 and it should look just like that okay and now that you have your chain 31 we're going to do a double crochet in the fourth space from the hook so we're going to skip one two three four and this is the fourth one we're going to go into this space here so double crochet your yarn over you go through the space you bring the, your yarn back you have three loops on the yarn on the hook like that yarn over go through the first two yarn over go through the last two so that's your double crochet and you're going to do that four more times so that's three four five and six so as you can tell, you may be thinking, why am I saying six? But this first, uh, when we skip three spaces to do a double crochet, we created this loop here. And that counts as one double crochet, two, three, four, five, six. So that's why I'm saying six, okay? And then when we get to this space, we're going to chain three. One, two, three. And then we're going to do a single crochet in the fourth space from here. So we're going to skip one, two, three. One, two, three. And in this fourth space, we're going to do a single crochet. Just like that. Okay. And then you're going to chain seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And you're going to skip four spaces so one two three four and in the fifth right here you're going to do another single crochet just like that and then you're going to chain seven again one two three four five six seven and then you do the same you skip four spaces one two three four and in the fifth you do a single crochet that and then we're going to chain three one two three and then you're going to skip three spaces one two three and in the fourth you're going to do a double crochet so not a single crochet anymore we're just doing a double just like that okay I'm just trying to recreate this side here so we're here now and then you're going to do a double crochet for the rest of the chain here and for the rest of the of the row so one two three four five okay 
okay so if you look at it we have also six um, double crochets on this side we have one two three four five six and we already have six on this side as we counted earlier okay so that kind of balances your work so it doesn't look off on one side and then you're going to chain three so one two three turn your work around like that and you're going to do a double crochet in the very first space right underneath the the chain three right there you do a double crochet and then in the next space you're going to do two double crochets in the same space so that's one and then we have two just like that okay so I don't know if you can see we have the chain three one double crochet right underneath and then two double crochets in the same space okay and then you're going to do a single crochet a double crochet in each space that we have before we go to chain up so there there and finally in here okay so as you can see we're starting to move this way and that is pretty much creating the top kind of going down this way as opposed to straight okay so we have one two three four five six we should have eight here one two three four five six seven eight and we do and you will see that as you go it's going to be increasing by two so each row that you do is going to be increasing by two of this and that's why we did two double crochets is to start increasing okay so you're going to chain seven so one two three four five six seven because we're going to keep it consistent and then you're going to do a single crochet not in the first chain three but in the first chain chain seven then we're going to do chain seven again one two three four five six seven okay and then we're going to do a single crochet in the next chain seven space like that and then you're going to chain seven again one two three four five six seven okay and then you're going to do a double crochet in the very first space after your chain ups so double crochet go in the first space here and do your double crochet okay so it looks like that so we have this chain seven into the space chain seven into the space chain seven right up to the first space after the three uh, chain three that we did earlier okay and then you're going to do a single a, a double crochet in the next space double crochet in the next again okay double crochet in the next and then we're going to increase and to do that at the end here we're going to do two double crochets in the next space so that's one two okay and then where we chained three earlier we're going to do a double crochet two of them in the same space on the very top of that chain three so we're going to just kind of squeeze ourselves in there and do a double crochet and then one more in that same spot okay so again if you count we have we should have eight one two three four five six seven eight and we do so now it matches this side okay and then we're going to chain three one two three turn your work around and in the very first spot here we're going to do a double crochet okay and then in the next we're going to do two double crochets in the same space that's one and two and then we do a double crochet for the rest of this space here okay so double crochet there double crochet in the next double crochet in the next and then again there double crochet there and then finally double crochet in the final spot here 
okay so just so you guys understand because we're increasing to expand um, our crop top from the neck down so we're going downwards so we have six here we have eight and we should have ten here so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and we do and you will see that in the next you will have 12 14 16 18 20 you will keep increasing that way okay so when we're here we're going to chain three one two three and we're going to do a single crochet in the first chain seven space like that and then you're going to chain seven one two three four five six seven okay and then you're going to do a single crochet in the next chain eight, uh, chain, chain seven space like that okay and then you're going to chain seven again one two three four five six seven then you're going to do a double crochet in the next chain seven space from earlier just like that okay and then you're going to chain three one two three and you're going to do a double crochet in this first spot right here right here where my nail is right here okay so double crochet in that space okay so we're going to keep repeating this where we do double uh, chain seven and then chain seven chain seven and when we come back around we do a chain three chain seven chain seven chain three so it's going to repeat itself and overlap that way. So I'll just do this part with you. So you do a single crochet, a double crochet in the next uh, spaces until you have two spaces left at the end. And that is including the chain three space at the, 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 that we had. Okay, so there. So this is our next space and the next one will be on the chain. Chain three we did earlier, so you will do two double crochets in that same space here okay and then two double crochets on top of the chain three we had earlier so just right there it's gonna be a little bit of a tighter space so you have to squeeze in and then one more in the same space okay so the same thing as we did on this side you should have ten one two three four five six seven eight nine ten okay so and then you will chain three turn your walk around and you pretty much continue to repeat this so when you come here so you will do your first double crochet let me just bring it closer to the camera so after you have chained three you will do the first double crochet here in this space then two double crochets in this same space one double crochet all along here when you do your final double crochet in this space you're going to chain seven and then you're going to do a single crochet in this chain seven earlier right through here you will chain seven do a single crochet here chain seven do a double crochet here okay and then you continue what we have been doing and you should have an increase of two every time you increase your top okay so I'll show you on what I have already done this is what we're doing here we're creating this increase that creates where it's gonna go under your armpit so as long as you keep increasing you should have an increase of two as far as it's gonna go so for mine for this I am going to do probably about 16 to 18 rows and keep in mind we have already done three so one two three I'm probably going to do a total including these of 16 to 18 so I will let you guys know how many I end up doing at the end so continue to do this repeat as long as it takes to build your top and then I'll come back and show you guys what we need to do next to make this top go downwards. Okay, I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, so as you can see here, I did my half part of the top. I actually ended up doing 16 rows all together. And I think I did 18 on this one that I did previously. 
but I want this top to be a little bit higher more like above my belly button um, so instead of doing 18 as I did in this one I'm going to do 16 and I think I ended up doing 12 for this part here and I think I'm going to do only 10 in this one something like that 10 or 8 depending on how I will probably try it on before um, I stop but anyways we are at a spot now where we're going to stop increasing um, so that our top can start to go more like this okay so this is how our top is going to go on like that but this is the part that's going to go on the lower back on our lower back and this is coming right under, underneath your armpit okay so I'm going to show you how to start to decrease but without really decreasing it we're just going to not increase anymore okay so I already did my uh, two double crochets in this space and then the next I also did two double crochets like we've been doing all along the top to create this increase here okay but what I'm going to do now is I'm at the end and for my row 17 I'm going to chain three like we did previously turn my work around and instead of going in the very first here I'm going to just go into the second with a double crochet so like that and then I am going to continue to do my double crochets all along without any changes so we're going to continue to do what we've been doing to create this web around here okay so this doesn't change at all so just continue to do your double crochets all along this area here and then when you get to the end here I'm going to show you guys how to do the same thing that we pretty much did on this side but on the opposite where we're gonna start to create a straight down line so go ahead and do that and then okay so you should be here now and in the previous row because we were increasing we would have done two double crochets here and then two double crochets here and then two double crochets in the corner but because we're not uh, increasing anymore we're just going to do a single crochet here and then at the end and then we chain three one two three turn your work around and when you get to here you don't put it in the first here you go to the second second space okay and then you continue to do your double crochets all across the row again just like we've been doing okay so as you can see it start to go downwards as opposed to the angle could keep going like this it's starting to go this way okay so this is where we started off okay and then you're going to continue to go all across and when you get here because we have these shorter sections here so there was a chain three first and then chain seven chain seven chain three so when you get here you're just going to go straight to a chain a seven so chain seven and then you're gonna go a single crochet here chain seven single crochet here in this space then chain seven uh, double crochet in this space and then when you go back around you're going to chain three so you're going to repeat what we have just right here right now okay so you alternate you do three chain sevens with a single crochet in between and then in the next row you do a chain three single crochet chain seven single crochet chain seven single crochet chain three double crochet okay so continue to do that as long as you want to bring this section down like I said I'll probably end up doing about seven I mean eight or ten going down like this which is going to create the bottom of my top but you go ahead and do the desired number of rows that you want and then I will meet you guys at the end when we're pretty much kind of almost finished doing this uh, top. So go ahead and do that and I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay. Okay, so this is where we are with the top. Okay, so I did 10, um, 10 rows from here where we started to stop increasing these are 10 rows all the way to here and then this is my number 11 so I'm gonna end up doing 11 rows of that and remember I did 16 of this so from this corner here to here it's 16 
and then I'm doing 11 more that way but I stopped in this section so I can show you because we're doing something a little bit different on that 11th and final row okay so I'm gonna show you guys that quickly and then we're going to pretty much kind of do the finishing edges of this top so we're going to do a final double crochet here in that space just like that like we've been doing all along and then instead of doing what we would be doing here next we're going to chain three so one two three and then a single crochet here and then we're going to chain four so we're not doing seven anymore we're going to chain one two three four a single crochet here and then four again one two three four and then a single crochet here okay something like that and then we're going to chain three one two three and then we're going to do our double crochet at the beginning there like that okay so when you do this it's going to kind of pull it in a little bit tight so you just have to play with um, your spacing of the chains like that just so that a little bit more centered like so okay so we're just setting up the finishing because we're gonna go around and do um, single crochets around and then go ahead and continue to do double crochets all the way to this end here and I'll meet you there okay so I just want to show you guys how everything looks like so far so this is the top here of your crop top and then this is the bottom here and this is pretty much how it will go behind your back okay so this will be the back you will have the straps that will kind of close this in and then this is your front so this is pretty much how it's gonna look like okay so we would stop here but we have two more steps to go so the first step is we're just going to do single crochets all around to make it nice and neat okay so we will start off right here okay so you're going to just chain three like we would as usual but instead of turning your walk around and going this way we're just going to go in here and do a single crochet and this will pretty much create a spot where we're gonna put our strap later so it looks like that okay and as you can see when we set it to reduce there's these gaps because we had to chain three and turn our work around this is what you're gonna use to put your straps through but in the meanwhile we're going to do oops the single crochets all along here and this will create more of a neat edges for your top instead of leaving it the way it is okay so we're gonna do something like that this is where we're gonna do our strap later and we will have a space in the middle probably somewhere here where we'll do the next strap and then probably here okay but you go ahead and continue doing this all around the top Okay. so continue to do this all the way go up here when you get to here to the end here do a chain three and then continue to do that here because we'll create something more like that here in this corner of your top and then you continue with your single crochets all the way here and then meet me when you get to this spot here because we're going to start to create our strap for the top when we get here Okay, so go ahead and do that and I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, so I did my single crochet is going all the way up here. So we started here, went up to this section. I did a chain three to create a place for a strap here. We're gonna have one in the middle, so probably here, and then the one we created here. Okay, so now when you get here, it's pretty much the top of your, uh, of your crop top. And when you do your final, oops, your final, single crochet right up here okay like that we're going to do chain up okay so we're going to chain as long as you want your strap to be 
So for me, for my size, I usually do between 100 and 120 chains. And that's going to be a strap that goes up on top of my top like this. Comes back, loops to these sections here behind my back, and then ties. Okay? So whatever that is for you, go ahead and do the amount of chains that you need. And then meet back with me. How we going to go back downwards and then continue to do the same going to the other side. So go ahead and do your chains. I'm going to do my 100 to 120. I'm not sure exactly how many I will do, depending on how long I want my straps to be. And then when you get to that, I will meet you guys back to show you what to do next. Okay, so I ended up doing 120 chains and that's what it looks like for me. So it is actually really long. And I actually prefer it to be longer rather than short, just in case... You know, I'd rather have longer straps than have short straps that I cannot pull quite well behind my back or pulling it too tight that it looks like it's, um, it's killing my circulation. So 120 here, you may do it more depending on your size or you may do it less depending on your size as well, okay? So what I want to show you guys now is how to go back down this chain so we can continue to do what we need to do all around, okay? So we're going to do slip knots down this chain so we're going to go to the very first chain here after the one that has the hook we're going to go into that bring it over and then go through okay and then you go to the next bring it over and go through okay this this part of the job is not my favorite this part of doing this is not my favorite because it's a, it's a little bit tedious you have to do this but it's part of the, the whole picture at the end of it all. It's going to look nice. And by the way, I know some people would probably prefer the strap to be this small like this. Or like just to be that, the, just the chain and that's it. If that's the case, then you would just cut your yarn here. Uh, secure your, your chain and then go and connect the yarn again here and do the same from here. But because we want to work around the whole thing, we have to kind of do this. And it's actually, for me, I like that the strap is a little bit thicker like that as opposed to just thin like this. Okay, so go ahead and do this. Okay, so I did my uh, slip knot coming all the way down this chain. As you can see, it's now much thicker than it was before. Okay, and now that I'm all the way at the bottom here, Okay, I'm going to do a single crochet right there like that just to kind of secure it and then I'm going to continue to do my single crochets around the top here along the top I should say so as you can see too I'm trying to weave in the the yarn that we had at the beginning of the prog uh, of the uh, project okay so instead of leaving it hanging then I have to cut it later, I'm just kind of weaving it in by holding it along the top here where I'm doing my single crochets, okay? So I have more still hanging there. So this is what I wanted to show you guys. So when you get to the top here, you have these spaces that we started off the project with. We're going to do four uh, single crochets in each of these space, okay? So we're going to do a single crochet, four of them here in the same space, three and four, okay, and then you're going to do one right on top here, okay, and then you're going to do four more in this second space, four single crochets, three and four, and then you're going to do one on top here. And then four more in this space. Oops. Okay, need to, need to go slow apparently. Keep missing my stitches there. Four. And then one more on top of this here. And then final four in the next space. So one, two, three, and four. Okay. So that just kind of makes your top look a little bit nice like that. This is where the strand ended, so I'm probably just going to end up cutting that off at the end, okay? 
but that's pretty much what we did here so this is the the strap oops off camera there's a strap here that's gonna go down later behind our back and we're going to do one more when we get to this space but since we did this part on top of the top we're going to continue with doing single crochets along here as well right there right there and right here okay so this is the other end of our top and what we're going to do here is we're going to do the same number of chains we did as we did on this side so for me i'm going to do about 120 chains and then when i finish my 120 chains i'm going to do a slip knot coming down the chain and then when you get here Okay, you continue to do single crochets along this uh, side of your top here. When you get to this very end here, you're going to chain three and then continue to do single crochets, single crochets, go all the way to here. When you get right here, you chain three, you do a single crochet here and then you continue all the way until you come back to where we started off here. So this is where our project is going to end. But what we just did here on top is exactly what you're going to do when you get to this space. So as you can see, there's this space here. Am I off camera? Yes, a little bit, okay. So this space here, this space here, this space here, and this space here. So you're going to do four single crochets here, and then one on top of the stitch, and then four more, one on top here, and then four more, one, four more, and then you continue to do your single crochets all the way until we get to this end here where our project is going to end. So go ahead and do that, and I'll meet you guys right here where we're finishing off this beautiful project that we've been working on. Okay, so go ahead and do that, and I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay guys, so I'm at the end here. Okay, I'm just gonna do one more single crochet right here. And then we will close off. Oops. We'll close off our work. Actually, we'll just do the slip knot there, like that. Okay. And then I'm going to cut the yarn. Just like that. Okay. And then I'm going to secure this by doing a slip knot like that. Okay, so as you can see, we have our gap here where the uh, where the 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 strap is gonna go okay the way I secure my work is I don't actually weave it in just because I find that when I weave it in it does come loose eventually especially with wash okay so I just gonna do that sometimes I do it more than once sometimes just once like that and then I just cut this off like here okay and then I use my nails to just kind of tuck it in much as I can make it go on the inside of it okay just like that okay so let's look at what we have done here okay so this is pretty much the end of the top so when I first was here we were here together we were on top of this strap here this one and I told you guys to do as many chains as you want and then do a slip knot going all the way down the, the, the chain and then continue to do your single crochets along here and then do another chain so this is the chain that i did on the other side okay so these are my two chains here they're the same length as you can see okay and then i continue to do single crochets all the way here when i got here i did a chain three just to create this gap where a strap is gonna go then i continue to do single crochets and i did the same here and then I moved down the project right here with single crochets. I did what I, we did on top here. So there's four single crochets in each of these spaces. And then we just finished up here now, okay? And this top you can wear either side so it is reversible because it is crochet work. That's the beauty of it is you can wear it reversed as well as the other way around. So this is how your top is going to be. So I'm going to show you guys how I would do the strap. This is not how you, you don't need to do your strap like this, but I love to do an X on top of my back. Like the first part of my back, I love to have that X here like this. Okay. 
um, so the way I do this to create my X is I bring the, the uh, strap from this side from the opposite side okay and I'll put it in this space here bring it through okay like that and then I'll go to the middle of this side so this is going to be where I put my the next one here just like this and then I move on oops then I move on to the other bottom side like that okay and then I take the other chain I go to the top here where I have my gap for the strap just like that and then I move on to the opposite side which is right here and I always go from inside guys so go in like that and then I finish it off finish it off outwards in the bottom just like that okay so this is how it's gonna look on my back okay and then I will tie the strap here however I want to tie it so that it's into a knot you know so a bow or something nice that it's gonna look nice in the back so this is pretty much it you guys this is the end of it the other way that you could probably do the straps which i don't usually do if you want the other way you could do the strap is just to go down straight like this just go from here like this and then you can continue to weave it in from here and then you bring these in as well and the first spot it's gonna go in is here like that and then you continue to do the rest of it so that you still have the crossing here like this but the, the back is going to be coming straight down like this so I will take pictures of it and then I'll have this video I'll upload them with the video here so you guys can see I'll try to do the different ways to do the strap so you guys can see how it looks like okay but that's pretty much it this is the end of our project I hope you guys enjoyed making this uh, spider top with me and if you did subscribe to my channel so you can see some future videos that I'll be putting up of different things different projects whether it's scarves hats um, crop tops like these bikini tops bikini bottoms whatever the case go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss those go ahead and like this video if you liked it if you enjoyed it and share this with your friends in case they love to do some simple project like this for the summer okay and i'll see you guys in the next video love you guys Mwah.